Welcome back. We are in the Mechanical Age with the giant fortress in front of us. I am uh, trying something new for this video in terms of my audio recording. I'm actually recording using the Vive um, microphone. I'm trying to record it with Audacity rather than just recording it straight into the video so I can still edit stuff. It does mean Audacity is now running and recording on the same computer that is running the game. So we'll see uh, if that affects anything. Normally I have it running on my laptop, which obviously I can't do with the setup. But at least this microphone is on top of my face. And I can't hit it. <laughs> it's not somewhere in front of me. It also allows me to sit facing the right direction, what is considered to be the front of my play area. Um... And I don't have to worry about, like, oh, I turned around, so now it's, uh... The ocean here boiling? I just don't understand what I'm seeing here. Um... Maybe it'll make more sense when we're over there. Um... Anyway, I don't really have to worry about turning around and not facing my microphone, so hopefully this will work better. You're all part of this experiment with me together. So far, my inclination is that this will probably not become a regular thing. I think like I can achieve a much nicer experience for my viewers when doing uh, Firmament, when it eventually comes out, by just playing it in screen mode. So you don't have to deal with me moving my head. Because as still as I think I'm holding it, it... I really am not. Just scratch, scratch my nose, which you now all get to see. Um, all right. The height is okay. Yes. Inside of the fortress, looks like there's still some construction work being done. Although I don't think that fits there. Where it is supposed to go is anyone's, I guess. It's kind of dark in here, so it's hard to tell. Um, yeah, more. Maybe they're just spares. And this is Cirrus's room. Which I'm sure still has the uh, anachronistic painting. This painting was made after this supposedly takes place. Because I'm sitting down from this angle, I feel like my knees should be hitting the wall. All of the. Uh, can I move? The answer is no. What if I do this? Now can I move? Yes. Lovely. You can wind it either way. Which doesn't really make sense, but uh... Come on, game. I can teleport with my left hand for some reason. Uh, these really feel like they need to be clues for something, and they're not. But they are pretty, I guess. What's this painting? Some landscape. At least a nice high resolution texture on that, and the brush strokes and everything. Better than the frame. <laughs> and the yellow one. How about all ones? We. I'm just gonna leave them on because why not? Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. 
And the clock, which I guess we used to get here. Is there an Easter egg if I put the clock at 302? Probably not, because I can't. Uh, there's not really much to see out the window here. Miniature ship from the stone ship. Another painting, I don't know. Not much of an art uh, expert. Um, I keep wanting to interact with stuff, but I can't. I mean, it's the rocket. What else can I say about it? Where's the secret passage? Is it behind here? Hmm. Suspicious. Seems to be a power cord running down the wall here. I think that's the secret passage. It's not behind there. Was it behind there originally? I don't remember. Come on, game. You can do it. I don't really sit in the throne anymore. I mean, I guess I can turn myself around and pretend I'm sitting in the throne. On the throne, even. But we can't do that. Wait, I didn't even look through them. Oh, it doesn't want me to do that. It looks like the same kind of telescope as um, in Stone Ship, but it isn't really showing anything, and we can't turn this one. Probably a good thing too, considering how incredibly annoying that was. All right, so it's either timed or I don't. Uh, I should not move too far away from it. There is the page. How it got here, nobody knows. Socked into my crotch once again. And a wine bottle. Now I need the glass from the other age. That work? It did something. <laughs> it's gone now. I don't know what happened to it. Um, they just disappear when you let go. That doesn't seem like it's supposed to happen. But yeah, when you get too far away from the door. All right, let me just. Um, wait, these coins have dunny numbers on them. Interesting. That's probably not the case in the original. These are five, I think, not one, because of the direction of the number. Yeah, that's a one. That's a three. There are no twos or fours from as far as I can see. Cirrus, your greed sickens me. Your desire for wealth and plunder is never satisfied. I will instruct my subjects not to pay your new tax, and you know they'll listen to me. Regards, Akinar. No secrets on the back. Also, disappears. Everything is just disappearing now. Cyan, you know I love you, but this game needs some patches. I don't want to pick anything up, because it's just gonna make it disappear. I guess we could clean the house. Um, yeah, and we can pick up all these bottles and make them disappear. Uh, this is kind of sloppy. Part of the geometry is visible. That depends on what angle you're looking at it. Huh. Still. Um, 
So that's the downside of playing a game like two days after it was released. You got to deal with glitches. Moving on. Um, I don't want to go over here yet. On account of not knowing the sounds. And... Akinar's room. Lovely as always. Although I do like the dragonfly sword display. That's, that's kind of cool, I have to say. Can take the sword. Oh, and these don't disappear. They actually go back. I I just keep decapitating myself whenever I pick this up. That seems very unhappy. Seems kind of short for Katana. I forget what the shorter version was called. There is a sh something in between a Katana and a knife. I forget what they're called, though. And this is a jack-in-the-box, isn't it? Assuming I can actually get the movement right. There we go. It is a jack-in-the-box with a snake. If I wasn't expecting that, it might have startled me. Some kind of animal hide. And the rotation simulator. So yeah, this is power. Alright, are these different? I don't know. I don't think so. I think North was always dead. So I don't think they randomized this. Would they have randomized the actual maze? West is the springy sound. And south is the cowbell. Oh, that's... that's nice. And east is whatever that is. That's actually really nice. If I let go here, it goes back. But if I let go there, it continues. That makes this so much less finicky <laughs> than uh, the original version. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to make a save here, just in case, if the menu wants to work, which it doesn't. Come on, menu. Menu. Okay, the menu is just apps. Okay, there we go, finally. I'm gonna make a save here that I can use later. It's kind of annoying because this game only has two save slots. Why? I have gigabytes, terabytes of space. Why can I only make two save slots? This isn't the quest. It's two save slots and an auto save. But I guess I don't want to overwrite this one because just in case I forget the sounds, it's nice to be able to go back. Just some torture weapons here. And the secret doorway button. Let's look over here first though. Some more weapons. Gains from fighting the black pirates perhaps. Um, I want to go in there. I want to go in there. Thank you. Um, well, we all know what's in here. Um, it's kind of a monkey head. It was the Black Pirates, maybe? It's a lot less gruesome than the original. 
still, let's let's just put that back. And as usual, I don't really want to know what uh, Akinar was doing with this cage and all of these poisons over here. Got the page, so we're good there. Oh, seems like I'm fine. And these despair. Um, that does not look like it's fun. It also doesn't seem like I can turn it off. All right. Let's not play with that. All right, I think I got the rotation okay. Um Let's see. Nothing behind here. And that's not working. Um, that's not helpful. Wonder why that's there. In case people get themselves stuck somehow? Or to make this more obvious, in case you missed that button. Alright, yeah, we gotta rotate the um, elevator to face that way. Like that, I guess? You can stop blinking now. Um, I guess it can't. Looks cool in here. here. An automated elevator drawer. How luxurious. Doesn't have any other windows. No. Alright. Um, I feel like you could walk around more in the original. Uh, we know what we have to do, though. We have to get the elevator down halfway. Alright, uh, first of all, I need to know what direction we're facing right now. And apparently it's south. Nope, stay up. Okay, that's east, I want to say. This looks very nice, I have to say. The materials and What? 
Um, okay. Um, did I block the door or something? I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Go over there. I'm stuck in the elevator. Send help. Well, um, that's not good. Can I back out of the elevator? No. Let's try saving and reloading. Actually, I want to try something. There's a thing in the settings for... Um, teleport to safe spot. Sure you want to be teleported to safe spot. This option should only be used if you are stuck in an area and I will return to a valid position to move from. Yes. Um. I don't think that did <laughs> what you thought it was going to do, Cyan. <laughs> what happens if I do that again? All right. Um, we'll call that good. Let's see if the rotation actually... Uh, took effect. If so, we should be facing east. I should have gone through Sirius's room, because then I could have looked out at that. Binoculars? Yeah, okay. We did actually rotate. We're good. We're saved. All right, let's go up here. Where we should find half of the return code. Yep, um, I wanted to think those are buttons, but they're not. I'm assuming this is randomized, meaning I should definitely take a picture. There we go. Um, what to do? Uh, we should go and look for the binoculars and then move to the next spot. And there is... I feel like I'm too low. Yes. Um, there's nothing to see. I think the only thing you can see is when you're uh, facing west, because there's nothing... Um, I'm, like, afraid to take this elevator. Clear of the doors. Oh, I should have should have hit that button first. So we're east. 
Our goal should be north. They made this way easier. This was so easy to overshoot or not do far enough in the original. But that's probably a good thing. Okay, now, please. All right, it actually worked this time. Um, I guess we'll go through Cirrus's room, still nothing to see. Let's creepy chew the girl this way. And now we're here. I could still couldn't really tell what the fogging on that side is about, even when I was over there. Didn't really look explicitly. Nor did I notice anything. Looking at the view and the clouds. Um, trying to figure out how the clouds are moving, because they are moving, but they're not actually going anywhere, which is an interesting, interesting thing. All right, can I actually, there we go. All right, two of the same. Take a picture. Like I need to like pretend to do that. You take pictures in a rec room, I think. Um, let's uh, take a look. If there's anything on the west side. I think it, it's just the little view from the telescope. And then we'll head back to Mist. That's west. I feel like this needs to be moving way more for to turn this giant fortress. You'd feel there'd be way more force involved with that. You'd think, anyway. Um, obviously, um, I think Cyan is also working on remaking Riven, they um, partnered with the Starry Expands, the fan remake. Uh, which is something I'm much more excited for than uh, Mist. I also realized it's a much bigger undertaking, especially since all of the models have been lost. Um, it's the one place I didn't need to go. Well, I guess I want to look out the front door anyway. Um, I think that'll support VR2. They had a little demo uh, at the last Mysterium of Starry Expanse with uh, VR Sport. That I, I really am excited for. Well, there's nothing here. What was I expecting? <laughs> Being able to stand in front of, you know, Gan Gen's giant golden dome in VR, that would be so awesome. That 
you know, that's just a dream I've had since 1996, basically. There we go. It's Hangman. Achievement unlocked. It's Bob. Wait, this is the first achievement I've unlocked. I don't know if that showed up on the... Hangman is not visible from here. Is that in the direction of the fog? It might be. Kind of impossible to tell. Um... Or is it in the direction of the start? I am not sure what way we're actually facing when we're looking out the window there. Anyway, let's rotate back to the um, start. That's not what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Makes you wonder why that's even in the inside of the elevator, considering there's no reason to ever push that inside the elevator. Yep, and we want to end up back south, which we are. lean over. More space now that I'm facing the right way. <laughs> Actually, eh, I kind of wanted to see if that would accomplish anything while in the elevator. don't think it does, but let's try it anyway. Come on. Maybe it'll give me another achievement. And the answer is no. No achievement, no view, no nothing. I can't send the elevator halfway up from here, which would be fun to try and look down the hole. It's kind of weird that the elevator has its own independent rotation. Like, what's the point of that? Because it definitely rotates along with the fortress, so... Hmm. Maybe just a security measure? Not a very effective one, I would imagine. All right, let's head back out. Um... No, I want to say Sirius's room was facing that way when we saw the, the pirate, so it's not the direction of the other ship, because right now it's facing left, and the entrance would have been over there. All right. Let's input our code. I think I remember the first two symbols, because they were the same. That's those two. Check the photo album. Which I really wish you could see, but... You know. Alright, it's like the three triangles with a circle and the plus. Uh... Oh, and it's already the plus. There we go. And 
and we have a missed book. As expected, some more spare gears. Guess he was afraid he would need to replace a lot of. Books are locked in locked in place. Guess explaining. Oh, I could even lock mechanical. Did I get one for stone ship too? Then I didn't notice if I did. And we have both of the pages. Okay, the graphics love to like kind of freak out while that's happening. Yes, that's like the third time you've told us that. more of the same. Let's check in with his wicked rudder. You know, telling me you must obey me is not really the kind of wording that's going to make me want to help you. I wonder if the knives on the front are supposed to represent um, Haven. What does this one have on the front? I didn't really look. Some kind of crystal or geometrics thing. Not particularly spire relevant. 
Um, I think that will be that. And we'll see how to go to Selenitic in the next video.